so much for coming today and tonight. And I would like to introduce my respectful, faithful, my pastor. I always call him, he is the real shepherd. I'm not calling him pastor. He is the real shepherd. And I do have four Lutheran pastors. Back to 30, 28 years ago. And Bishop, the Metropolitan New York Synod Bishop just picked me up and asked me to uh, become Lutheran pastor at that time when I was in seminary in Philadelphia. So Bowman, Bishop Bowman, Bishop Bowman made me as Lutheran pastor. Then second, I do have Bishop Ron Warren. I love him a lot. He's a very faithful bishop. He was bishop in Southeastern Synod over 18 years. And my bro broken my heart was he just left the ELC. So, but you know, you will see about his grieving, uh, you know, maybe during the hour to meal time. And then the third, Pastor Gary Christensen, supporting me. And when I was in Atlanta, we don't have the place to worship service. Then Pastor Gary Christian invited me and our Korean congregation as Christ the King Lutheran Church in No Cross. At that time, they have 1,200 the membership in there. So they are big, beautiful building, and they just he let me let me use about you know, the small chapel and the. the Richard Kim was the, one of the council members when I was in Korean Energy. So, and then I have my pastor Larry Moore. So I'm so I'm so glad. I'm so honored honored him to come here. And actually, the driving hour is the four hours and thirty minutes from Tennessee, East Tennessee. But he was stay about the last night in Bruce area. So he came here. So without any. So let's pray and let's worship a little bit and then uh, about 15 minutes first and Pastor Larry gonna lead us about the worship service. So please let us worship God together. Pastor Larry. Let's pray. Gracious God, not only creator, indeed the sustainer, but redeemer, we thank you for your love and your grace. We thank you for the privilege of living this day and gathering in this moment. We do thank you for Pastor Park and his family and all those that are here and all those that you have connected and united uh, to the body of Christ. And so we ask that you help us to know you're present. We don't need to ask for the Holy Spirit to be present because where your people are, where people are, the Holy Spirit's present. So just open our hearts and our minds and our spirits to a time of worship then celebration of uh, Pastor Park's life. We ask all this in the holy and precious name of our Lord and Savior, just not only to part, but in each and every day, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I threatened my wife I was going to sing, okay? <laughs> this is the day, this, this is, is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad in Shout with joy. 
to the Lord a word. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with singing with joy. Acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. In fact, I'm going to add something. Go into the whole world with his praise and his love. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his unfailing love continues forever, and his faithfulness continues to each generation. I want to share some scripture. And it's probably not really important that you remember what I say, but we need to remember what Christ says, what he says through his servants in scripture. So from Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus, in the first chapter, How we praise God, the Father, our Lord, Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms because we belong to Christ. Long ago, even before he made the world, God loved us and chose us in Christ to be holy and without fault in his eyes. His unchanging plan has always been to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ, and this gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the wonderful kindness he has poured out on us because we belong to his dearly loved son. He is so rich in kindness that he purchased our freedom through the blood of his son and our sins are forgiven. He has showered his kindness on us along with all wisdom and understanding. I just want to call attention to Revelation 21. In 21, those first seven verses, there's a statement that just doesn't haunt me. It just lifts me. That Christ's dwelling place is with humankind. I'm sorry, not just Lutherans and Presbyterians. Okay? <laughs> not just Pentecostals, not just Methodists, not non denominational with man, humankind. And I always go back to John 3, 16, 17. We see 3, 16 everywhere. People, and it's okay, it's wonderful, it's powerful. For he gave his only son. But then 17 says, not to condemn you, but that people could be saved. And saved not just when we die, be saved from our separation and divisions, our sin, our brokenness, our frustrations, our anticipation. How are you going to use me, Lord, to speak to Korean people? And now, college professor, I mean, a seminary professor. <laughs> How did he use Paul? How did he use Matthew? How did he use all those women in the church? He just used them. He didn't come to separate. He came to unite us in worship. Not only in worship, but in living out his kingdom, living out his love and his grace. And I need to check that watch. Because I get carried away if you haven't already figured that out. <laughs> but he dwells with us. Sometimes we think of the invocation, inviting him in. It's like he's already present. Open up our hearts and minds to his presence. And I've heard this said a lot lately. It's all about God. Amen. But God, through Christ, made it all about us. He didn't make it all about Larry. He didn't make it all about clergy. He didn't make it all about this group or that group or this nation or that nation or this ethnic group or that ethnic group. He made it about all of us. And that's enough to gather and worship and praise him. In whatever form we seem to be led by a particular group, Christ was there the day Pastor Park was born. In fact, Scripture says he was there in Pastor Park's mother's womb, in my mother's womb, in all of our mother's wombs. He was there the day we were born. There's a great song, him, but I'm not going to break out of that. I need the little simple ones that I remember. 
this is pre-America Thanksgiving Day. So let's talk about Emmanuel. God with us. Emmanuel, God with us. Wherever we are, right here in Duluth. I just left the motel and he was there. The Holy Spirit wasn't waiting for us together. The Holy Spirit was with us as we traveled. How can I worship, not worship him? Thank God for seeing a guy that was passed apart on the Senate Convention, all the church business being done. And I see this young man, younger than me, my 17, 16 years. And there's a light, illumination of his presence and his being walking on the floor. Either the Christ or the sinner in me, or perhaps both, was drawn to him. And since then, we have worshiped together at the congregations in Atlanta. Preached a stewardship sermon. I told him, I don't think you want me to come and preach a stewardship sermon. And when I left, he said, I agree. How <laughs> stewardship is just our response to God's love. I truly believe the money will come when we need. Mother Teresa said, it calls us, God calls us, he'll provide the resource. And I'm pretty simple with everything. You'll find that out in just a second. And Christ has chosen not to dwell in a manger, not to stay on the cross, not to live in a tomb, but to dwell with us. And he want, truly he wants us to be about others and celebrating the life of others, hurting with others, crying with others when we know we didn't get enough training to know how to go into every situation. Knowing he draws our tears, he brings us together in the greatest of joys and the deepest of sorrows. That Saturday I had a funeral. Tomorrow I need to drive to be with our son who's having surgery on his wrist. know I hear a lot about where things are made I watch people crack a girl pick things up is it made how I like it that things are made everywhere but I truly believe in the midst of worship proclaiming that to be made in the image of Christ to be transformed to be transformed by the changing of our minds. Now that's pretty hard for us folks that are a little bit older. And from East Tennessee, on top of that. Romans 12 says to be transformed, not by just my heart, not by my physical appearance, but by my thinking. And I think this is a mighty good night. A mighty good night to be allowed the privilege of not even knowing what Korean attire is, except that Pastor Park and his family for years, and a few other people. Made in the image of Christ. Tears down all the barriers. Some guys I was talking to, a deep brother, friend, said, are we going to be Korean? I said, I don't know. I said, you know how Great, I speak French <laughs> and Korean. I don't even speak English well, okay? But I didn't come to speak English. I came to be privileged to be a part of leading us to worship. And we can celebrate Pastor Paul, and we will. But at this part of the service, it's all about God. And it's all about every human being that's alive that lived and will yet come. And those of us gathered that make up one little microscopic view, but a wonderful view, we'll move on to what we're all supposed to do. After worship, we go into the world. We meet the world where it is. We celebrate when and where we can, and we grieve when we must, and we reach out when we don't want to. And 
what an act of worship that is. He doesn't need our sacrifices. He just needs us to continue to raise people up from all nations, all groups, into one body. Amen. You know, I don't, I don't believe in waiting for the need of God. I think it's more of a time for hands to reach out <clears throat> and rejoice and live as we are. <clears throat> He's there in the morning cry. He's there in middle age. I really like the uh, tradition of 60th birthday. I kind of like 77 also. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go Pete Sand East Tennessee. <laughs> and I really like the fact when Christians gather, one of us is never enough. Jesus Christ was enough. We're all this little light, right? So hold up your finger. This is right here, and no matter where you're from, excuse me, we're just about to get right that 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? You know what I'm gonna do? Well, you see me do it. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. May you know, as you've known, that Christ abides with you. Amen. May you know, as you've known, that he has called you, as well as the rest of us, as we are, to proclaim the gospel. May you know, on this your birthday, that you're entering a time that's different than yesterday. It's true of all of us. May your faith continue to grow and be transformed. May you know that your call to love God, love others, and love yourself Amen. is as great as it was the day you were born, the day you were baptized, the day you were ordained, the day you were married, the day you fathered children. May you know that the Lord blesses you Amen. and keeps you. Amen. The Lord makes his face shine upon you, and he is so gracious unto you. And the Lord loves upon you. And not only him, but everyone here with faith. In his holy and precious name, may we know we are blessed and we're united. And let's celebrate after I have a short prayer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God. We're mighty obliged. You've been good to us and you will be good to us. Just continue to unite your people. That your light and love will be seen. Continue to use your servant, your child, Pastor Park, to know he is led by your light, by your love that dwells deep within him. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Pastor Park is to blame. He asked me to lead another song. Okay? Are you okay with that? It's a good old East Tennessee song. There ain't. Happy birthday to you. Let's stand up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Pastor Parker. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you. That's it. That's it. And this is a birthday gift. Oh, oh brand new. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And if you don't like that translation, <laughs> <laughs> when I was second core in Atlanta back to 2001, and as I mentioned a little bit, I couldn't find out the place to worship, even though the bishop were in there and the mission director supporting me as much as they can. However, uh, no, we, we couldn't find out the exact place we can uh, place about the worship service at that time. And at that time, God led us 
God always providing us very good facility. The first of all, in Prince of Peace and Alpharetta. And once, almost about a year, and I was there a mission developer. And then after that, Pastor Gary Christensen, I met him at the Christ the King, and he invited me as the big and huge building, beautiful building, Christ the King. So we were there uh, about nine years about Korean Lutheran uh, mission developer. The month uh, I, I was about the Korean mission developer, and we have about 50 to 60 Korean uh, every single Sunday morning worship service about the, in the, at the chapel. Uh, back to 2003 or 2005, between 2003 and 2005, and I met Pastor Larry at the Synod Assembly. And then I just mentioned, where are you located? Where, where, where is your, uh, the congregation located? And he said about East Tennessee. I don't, I've never been there. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we just you know, the, uh, keep in touch each other and a little bit. And finally, Pastor Larry and Solomon Lutheran Church in East Tennessee, and they invited me and our congregation, 45 Korean members. And we stayed there two nights, three days. Pastor Larry treat us like a king and queen. All Korean immigrants, they just touch their heart a lot. They really, that's why I hold him, he's not a pastor, he's a shepherd. He provides almost everything. He treated about every Korean ladies and Korean men, and even he could he he find out about the place where we live and where we stay, and we had very very great time. So after that, we just communicate each other a lot. So Pastor Larry is my role model, the pastoral care. So I always I always keep asking him when I need, but he never reject. He never rejects about my request. He's always there. So I really appreciate about Pastor Larry and Mrs. Vicky. So this is the what I my favorite and my role model, the Lutheran Pastor. Even it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> and then uh, while you know the, the food is serving, so the food will be serving. So let me introduce about the very quick. Dr. Mark Ellingson who is the Lutheran theologian, and he's teaching about the ITC in uh, International uh, Theological Seminary in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta. Dr. Ellingson and Mrs. Ellingson, right? Yes, yes, right. And, and then, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, Jay Lee. Yeah, Jay. Jenny, Jenny Lee. She is the financial uh, specialist. So whenever I have some uh, the, the insurer, like the medical insurance or the government, government insurance or something like that, or you know the financial something I need. So she always, you know, the supporting out the, the, the family all the time. So you know she's uh, my good friend. So. <laughs> and then uh, Jennifer, Jennifer and Pat, and Jennifer is from uh, our congregation, and Pat also in our congregation, and Aro. Is our church like uh, you know the uh, almost what mission developing congregation, right? About charter, charter, charter member. member, yeah, yeah. He is the charter member about Advent Lutheran Church for about thirty years, thirty five years, something like that. And then Elder Nancy, they are the very close we have. <laughs> so Pastor Nan I, I mean the Elder Nancy is the ordained elder from Presbyterian Church in the United States, which is the PCUSA. So she she was ordained elder. So she is the teaching our the Sunday school every single Sunday morning like 9:30 so to, to 10:30. So she is very faithful and I really appreciate that. And then David and and B Kinney, they are very good husband and and, and, and wife. And I always call uh, you know the call them and the uh, Priscilla and Attila. 
in the Roman and you know in the act and you know the same force like a good sporting mission sport. So I always keep keep them keep them calling about the Brishila and Achilla. They are very good, very good faithful you know, the, uh, the husband and wife. And then this young man, oh, he touched me a lot. Where he is, he got a PhD in physics. And he is the professor in Point University right now. And I met him about a couple years ago, but you know, actually he was studying about our church over one year. I keep asking him to be, become our membership, but he just hesitated. Pastor, let me study about the church, and let me take a look at about in our congregation. Then after one year, and he said, I'm ready to take the membership. So he is our member. Uh, he never missed the worship service in the morning. He never missed about the Sunday school. And he is a very good young scholar, and I really appreciate about how God is always good. God provide me about you know, the good, good, you know, the leader. So uh, Conrad Moore is the you know, professor at the Point University in, in, in Georgia. And then uh, Dan and Caroline. Caroline is the, my forever English teacher. <laughs> I have problem with all the, you know, the, uh, the making sentence about all English, some of the grammar, and the, even my sermon something, and I always ask her to take a look at about that, and she fixed about my English. So she is the, my always English teacher, and Dan and Caroline was the uh, ESL, you know, the teacher, volunteer, when I was uh, Korean mission congregation. And then Pastor Song is the Korean Lutheran pastor in, in the Atlanta area. So he has a very uh, special mission in the uh, stepping stone, stepping, stepping stone uh, the ministry. So uh, I think you know, that there is uh, some the, the, uh, the link about the website link, so I can just uh, let you have the link later on in email. So Pastor Song is the Korean Lutheran uh, pastor. Um, Mr. Richard Kim, as I mentioned, when I was in Korean, when I was in uh, pastoral care in Korean congregation in North Cross, and he was one of the our council member, and so he, because of the, his one word, the one 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 at the time about you know the big big event, not big event, but the big happen. One Sunday, he was always like a faithful and keep coming about the worship service in, in the morning, every single Sunday morning. One Sunday, he just uh, called me about Saturday night, and he, come, he, he let me know, Pastor Park, I'm going to Buddha Temple tomorrow morning. <laughs> because he fought, he fought with you know, his wife, and he doesn't want to come to the church anymore at that time. But that's only one, one thing happened. So that's what I always remember about this, okay? And yeah, oh. Pastor Huang, yeah, Pastor Huang is the, our ELCA, you know, the uh, uh, ELCA Lutheran pastor and Incarnation Lutheran Church in, where is Brooklyn? In Marietta, yeah, Marietta, Georgia. And then, and then uh, Pastor Huang's wife. And Pastor Sun is the, my long, long friend. Uh, Pastor Sun is, you know, the, almost the weekend the same time at the United States back to 31 years ago in Philadelphia. We met him, we met him in Philadelphia. And I was a Lutheran seminarian and he was a Presbyterian seminarian in Philadelphia. So we have a good relationship over 31 years. And then uh, Gary and Linda is our member and you know Gary and Linda. Gary is the also the partner, which is a 60 years old, is he right? So you, you are the same age, and we are the same one, Eddie and Linda. And then Pastor Kang is the holy denomination pastors. And so Pastor Kang and his wife, so we are the also good, uh, older friends. So please uh, enjoy what you know, you know the food. Uh, we also, I think we blessed about the food, right? I think I did not do that, so why don't you bless the food? Uh, how about the Dr. Ellison? Okay. Could you bless good. our food? So we can start starting about, yeah. Pray. Lord God, you're so good to us. So many gifts. The gift of life, and now the gift of this food, and the gift of fellowship that goes with it. 
Lord, help us to see you in the food we eat and in the talks we have. And may we be refreshed by that wonderful love you have for us. In Jesus' name we praise and thank you. Amen. 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 Please enjoy your food. And so if you need anything, please let any serve know about that. <laughs>